right, so the Rangers have made a deal, I don't know if you'd call it a deal, uh, with uh, Jimmy VC for a professional tryout. So how do I feel about this? First, I don't know. I feel like the Rangers have a lot of like low, like I should say bottom six pieces right now where they don't really need VC. I mean, I don't really know what they're trying to get out of it. Maybe just like a bit more reliability because you know he's going to produce those types of numbers. So if other things don't work out, like you have some pieces in the mix to make sure your depth is secured. I think I just answered my question. I think that's probably it. Cause yeah, I mean, I know he's not like a crazy producer and um, you know, maybe he gets like 30, 40 points. But when you consider, actually, no, I think he's gotten like 20 in the last few seasons I think he got somewhere in between 30 and 40 points in his best ever season which was on the Rangers but regardless he's going to be somewhere in that range so you know uh if you have that on your bottom six like you know most people are happy with that and it secures the depth because the top six for the Rangers are going to be solid like no matter what and the bottom six I think the third line is going to be great too but I would just say you know for whatever reason um the bottom six is just could be more up in the air you know I wanted to say for lack of a better term but I don't know hopefully you know what I mean but I'm interested to see what's going to happen um, because, again, he did have his best season on the Rangers and there is this whole thing. I don't know if anyone remembers this like VC watch thing because he was like really notable in his college days. And everyone was like, where is he going to sign? Where is he going to sign? And he was kind of like playing everyone for a loop. And then he ended up signing with the Rangers. So it seemed like that's really where he wanted to be. Obviously, as I said earlier, he had his best season on the Rangers. So it just seems like the place that he really wants to be. So I feel like after all this bouncing around, I feel like he's going to really lock it down because he's like, all right, like I have gotten a PTO before. I'm on all these really small one year contracts. Like I'm tired of it. I'm so I've somehow made my way back to New York. This is where I want to be. Let me freaking grind. That's kind of how I feel like what might be going through his head. I mean, either way, you know, he's going to like give it his all and he's in the NHL. You know what I mean? But I just kind of feel like that might be his mindset. So if we are going to see, uh, you know, some some greatness or so at least just some betterness coming out of VC. I think it is going to be now. I'm not saying that my expectations are super high. Like, I, I don't know how much he's going to, like, kill it or whatever. But I, I do think that he's going to do probably better than what he did in the past years off the Rangers. But even if we see something much like his career best, like, I think everyone would be happy. So we'll see how the PTO goes. Uh, cool for him. Hopefully he does well and um, can be, like, a great piece for the Rangers. So I'll be happy for that. And, yeah, that's what I got on the homie Jimmy VC. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And take care.